I've always lived in Bermondsey my whole life. Never be, I mean, for a little while, other places, yeah. But for the majority, Bermondsey, it's great. I'd just say it was okay. I, I, I'm thankful for growing up in Bermondsey compared to like fucking growing up in Brixton or something. Do you know, like, Bermondsey is, it's like, a, it, it's a haven, it, it really is. But the sort of gentleman, gentlemanship lifestyle, do you know, there's it, it, still some sort of chivalry left in this part of London. It's not everyone's out for themselves, you know what I mean? People there will, you know what I mean? If you fall down, they'll help you up. This whole area, it's sort of, it's like a, a, I don't know, like a fucking landmark or something. Do you know what I mean? And they're just, you know what I mean? In a year's time, it's just going to be some fucking property developer's fucking pocket change. Do you know what I mean? It's just it's bollocks. It's like this was built for the working classes, and and now it's just been, it's just going to get sold off. So it's. That's what I'm saying, it's good and bad. It's good they're ripping it down because it's a shithole, but it's bad that bods are getting properly fucked over. Not so much my generation, yeah, maybe a few of them, but the generation before me and there and before that, without a doubt, they're proper like, full on, full on through racists. But when you had all the uh, immigrants and that come over like in the 60s and 70s, like the Africa, Africans and all that, they needed, like they built all these, like what they're knocking down there, all the housing and that, for, to put them somewhere. And a lot of people around here sort of saw that as, as they, I don't know, I suppose they saw it as some sort of fucking invasion or some piss take to the the right wing and that are going to gain popularity through that and it's just been like that ever since. It's, just, it's not as bad as it was but it's still there, it's deep seated. South, South London, well I say part of the world, Bermondsey has got, it's not as bad, nowhere near as bad as places like Peckham, Brixham. And all that. There you go, yeah. Every, every time you turn the telly on, oh, there was a shooting in Brixton, stabbing, all that. Shit happens all the time over there. It's fucking rare it happened over here. And even if it does, it's not like... It's nothing... Like, there's no fucking gang shootouts. You know what I mean? Down the blue. It's just, it's, it ain't like that at all. Every bit of shitty land they can get their hands on, I mean, turn it into this, fucking raking it. Getting fucked over pretty much, but that's the way it is. Because when, you, like, when you're younger and that, when I was, you, none of that meant anything. You didn't give a shit about fucking, I don't know, politics and all that. It's just a laugh, you know what I mean? But nah, it's serious, isn't it? It's like, you got. Fucking, yeah. You know what I would mean? quite happily spend the rest of my life in Bermondsey. My kids, uh, if I ever have children, family, wouldn't mind them growing up in Bermondsey, but I wouldn't mind if they didn't want to. I don't mind it, so wouldn't hold it, you know, if they wanted to go on to bigger, better things in other parts of the country or the, or the world, so be it, you know what I mean?